Hello everybody and welcome back. This is my review of Halo 4 Forward Unto Dawn, the miniseries produced by Microsoft and uh, 343 Industries. Now I don't have uh, uh, permission or specific rights to um, show you any uh, pictures or video, but I will have links below in the show notes if you would like to go straight to those websites concerning Halo 4. So this is my review of, of what I have seen so far, three parts of the five-part miniseries. Now since the release of the first Halo game back in 2001, Microsoft has consistently delivered on the quality standards demanded by its legions of fans, including myself. Now my first exposure to Halo it's probably back early 2005. I was talking to a few friends of mine, and they were talking about the upcoming, uh, you know, talk about the uh, Halo 3 and the Xbox 360 about a, f a year or two be before it came out, and they were talking about uh, Halo. I have I had heard of Halo at the time, but never played it. So I asked the question: Is is Halo a, is Halo a good game? And I remember one of my friends not replying, but just giving me a look, nodding his head as if to say, of course it is stupid. Okay, so moving on. As far as Halo 4 Forward Unto Dawn goes, this, this tradition of quality continues with the Halo 4 Forward Unto Dawn five-part miniseries. This series, of course, is a tense build-up to the release of Halo 4 immediately after the final episode airs. Now, after watching only three of the five parts, I can't help but wonder why a full-length feature film hasn't been yet produced. To me, it's baffling considering the loyal uh, fan base, which is already in pay, um, which is already firmly entrenched worldwide. There was talk of a Halo uh, feature film back in 2007, 2008. I believe there was more than one script written. Uh, one of the writers, I believe, was one of the writers for the popular sci-fi flick uh, District 9, I, I do believe. Now, Forward Unto Dawn deals with young cadets, training, character development, flashbacks, and finally the appearance of one of the most iconic figures in history. Of course, I am talking about the Master Chief Spartan 117. Now, from what I've seen so far three out of five parts. The production quality is top-notch, but maybe somewhat disappointing considering the real action takes place right at the end of part three. Now the ending here to me seemed very intense. I was watching this with my kid. Uh, the ending here is dramatic, intense, and perhaps, perhaps worth the wait. Now some scenes are very graphic. Now I don't I don't want to give away any spoilers, but the ending of Part 3 reminded me of a little bit of that very tragic day of September 11th, 2001 in New York City. Now, I don't want to give it away. Now, the ending of Halo 3, it's, it's appropriate the way this short miniseries was filmed, but it was a little bit intense, a little bit graphic. If, if you know, it, it may be somewhat inappropriate for some young viewers. Now my son is currently 13. We were watching this together. He, he was only a child, a baby at, you know, at the time of the September 11th attacks. But I, I do want to say that it was graphic intense and it was somewhat somewhat dis disturbing. But the, uh, the uh, series had to be filmed, or at least part three had to be filmed that way because it is very appropriate to this, the uh, story. But as far as Halo 4, Forward Unto Dawn goes so far, from what I've seen, it's terrific. I can't wait uh, till next week, Halo 4, Forward Unto Dawn, Part 4, where we get to see finally a live action Master Chief Spartan 117. Check it out.